Salutations, respected viewers. This is George from Ireland. So uh, we begin this year, 2019, um, reflecting on an announcement by the government of Japan. It was just a few days ago that the Japanese said they intend to recommence uh, whaling. Um, so that is hunting whales, unless you were, and in case you weren't absolutely certain, in case it wasn't obvious from the word. Um, so cetaceans are the largest mammals in the world, and they've been hunted by humans for hundreds of years. And uh, the people of Japan assert this is part of their cultural patrimony, and they wish to recommence it. So whales were used for their blubber. We would eat it as whale sausages. It was turned into oil and soap and things like that. The bones were used for various things to carve into. Whale bone corsets, for instance, which are not en vogue anymore. Um, but um, by the, by the mid-20th century, um, hunting had got so technologically advanced that some whale species were hunted almost to extinction, particularly the right whale. So there had to be a moratorium on it. In the mid-1980s, um, an international ban on whaling was agreed by the International Whaling Commission with exemptions. Um, certain like Inuit people in, I think it's the far north of Canada, the indigenous people of Greenland and so on, were allowed to hunt a very small number of a certain species of whale Likewise, the, the Japanese were allowed to kill a, a limited number of whales for the purpose of scientific research each year. Um, however, they often, they ate their quota, were quite sensible, you killed them anyway, don't waste the beast. Um, and that's that. So um, Iceland Nor and Norway are the other two countries which hunted in significant numbers. So the ban was brought in principally because uh, certain um, species of whale uh, were endangered. And when they're imperiled, and to such an extent they might be wiped out, surely it was apposite to say no more, at least for a while until the numbers recovered. And the numbers have not recovered very much. I think they're not off the immediate danger list, most of them, except perhaps the right whale. But uh, they say as, as, as recently as the early 19th century, there were hundreds of thousands of blue whales, whereas now there are only several thousand. Uh, now it's partly because we have more ships in the water, we have more chemicals and pollutants and whatever, more oil in the water, things like that. We're eating a lot of what would be part of their food chain because they're more of us, and on and on. Um, the other reason is, is that killing them was thought to be exceptionally cruel. Now, killing any animal involves a, a measure of cruelty, but an, an unacceptably high level of cruelty for two reasons. Partly because it took them a long time to die. They weren't killed just out like a light. Uh, and the other one is because they are extraordinarily intelligent animals who can compose these uh, very lengthy songs, which they canticle across, across the ocean for up to half an hour. And I wonder if there's some sort of uh, linguistic signification to this, and could we eventually crack the code? Could they understand what we're saying at all? And you look at their near relatives, the, um, the dolphins, and they have intelligence and some sort of emotion and can be trained and blah, blah, blah. Um, so uh, of all the waterborne beasts, they're perhaps the most uh, similar to us. Um, so you, you take a lower animal, just like an, an amoeba. We don't really mind killing one of those, even if it took a long time to die, or even an ant or some animal we don't really sympathise with. But the, the um, cleverer animals, the ones that are closest to humans, it does upset people with some decency to see these um, animals suffering. Um, anyway, so the Japanese in sense sent to start hunting again. Well, um, the idea that uh, these species <clears throat> might be wiped off the face of the planet, that's the one that really exercises me. Now, I don't think that they are in jeopardy of being all, all killed. Got to keep monitoring this, make sure that the numbers are kept down. If the Japanese are going to start hunting, the Norwegians and the Icelanders might say, well, we're going to do so like, well, do the same. And other countries may follow suit. And if everybody does that, pretty soon there'll be no whales left. So we've got to um, have unsleeping vigilance on that one, keep a keen eye on the quotas. And the other one, um, is it causing uh, undue suffering? Is it just unacceptable? Because these, these beasts apparently can suffer from, for hours with harpoons. I think they've got an explosive in them which is supposed to blow up the brain so they die quite quickly. I'm not sure if that's true. Um, you, you know, um, I'm not completely against whale hunting. If it was humane killing and you could kill them as quickly as possible, wouldn't be against that. I know you might say we eat swine and uh, pigs are relatively intelligent animals. I wouldn't want hogs to suffer a long time either. Don't feel so much for cows or sheep or something like that. Horses somewhat. Dogs are semi-human in my view. I'd rather save a good dog than an evil human. 
So um, I'm not completely opposed to this, just so long as the numbers are down and if they could find a, a less cruel way of killing these beasts. Unless you're a total vegetarian, then you have to accept animals being killed sometimes. There's a question of mm, how instantaneous does the death have to be? Now, perhaps that's preposterous as a way to put it because it's either instantaneous or it's not. Okay, how long does it have to take? It can't necessarily be a fraction of a second. It might be a few seconds or even a few minutes to, to kill the animal, to minimize the suffering, to stun it or whatever. But um, if they could reduce the suffering to an absolute minimum and uh, kill um, a reasonable number such that uh, the species is not endangered and indeed, hopefully, there are more births and deaths each year, that uh, I would uh, agree with. What do you think?